We are Riot Games Latin America, or as many of you might know us, the TAM. Our region is a large collection of Spanish-speaking countries that stretch from Mexico through the Caribbean, across the Andes Mountains, all the way through Argentina's only Ushuaia, the end of the world. All of us are united by our language, by our love for Riot Games. Our history is not so short anymore. I would say that the Latino player is passionate. They are passionate. Social. They are creative. And global. And finally, I would say they're very funny. I think that in terms of memes, LATAM has to be one of the top regions in the world. We see gaming as an excuse to meet people. So everything that makes us feel closer to our beloved ones through an experience like gaming is very appreciated. The global uh, trends, the Latino player is always looking for uh, what's new in the world to, to play and to be on top of the new trends and how to make them and to express it in a local way. So uh, in the end, the Latino cherishes a lot this global influence of the entertainment, but it connects better with it by owning it uh, in a deeper way. The hardest part about doing translating the game, about translating the game in Spanish, probably is the amount of content we we, we produce. We, uh, sorry, my cat is biting me. <laughs> Mostly what I do is plan a lot. Um, plan a lot for two or three months ahead to make sure that Loke is going to be in the right spot to be able to, to tend to our players. In a normal week, we tend to have between 16 to 17,000 tickets per week. We manage around 1,200 properties uh, uh, as a team, and that's divided in, in several parts. So, as from from a own channels perspective, uh, and including social media, clients, websites, we handle around 50 or, or plus. We do have a Riot Partner Program uh, with influencers and content creators that holds around 700 people that we actively engage with and work with, uh, and then we have. 250 plus media partners. Uh, we have 30 plus fan artists, 50 plus, 80 plus cosplayers, uh, and like 100 plus communities that we, as a team, actively try to work with, engage, help, and try to grow constantly, constantly to just deliver the best player possible to our players. We build all our creative concepts uh, with all the members of the teams working together. Uh, brand managers, comms, trafficking, PR, social media, influencers, and even and and and, and me, the creative manager. Uh, we get together. We 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 understand the problem that we're looking for. We understand the audience that we're trying to talk to. We understand the challenge that we're facing, and that's when we are all aligned. And I'm allowed to tap into the inspiring brains of every one of the individuals that makes part of the Latam office and, and ask them the right questions to how can we talk to these players and be, be more legit while also being fun and entertaining and, and, and divergent and diverse. The amount of diversity that we have, it's not reflected in the language, but it's reflected in, in customs, in culture, in how they see themselves as Latins, in how uh, they, they relate to the product that we have. So you have to you have to think in every variant there is out there. Even though all players in Latin America speak Spanish and they sh we share some similarities culturally, we are also really different. Someone from Mexico is really different from someone in Argentina, in Chile, Peru, Colombia, and all one of the 30 plus countries that we serve uh, as a region. And that's a challenge on itself. You know, we have a lot of different countries and each player from each country is different. And sometimes something that may be offensive for one player is not offensive for another. I think the same difference that is uh, from uh, Spanish from Spain to Spanish from Mexico is the same difference that you see in Spanish from uh, uh, Mexico and Spanish from Colombia, you know. I've been aware of all of that, all of, of the context of 30 plus countries all the time. 
I think that's one of the biggest challenges that we have uh, towards our players and to be able to serve them correctly. Prior to Riot Games, there wasn't like a lot of development in the a in the gaming ecosystem in the region. So that means that it's harder to get a sponsorship uh, in the esports scene because the brands are not that aware of the gaming industry uh, and much less about the esports industry. Uh, and that also and this also means that uh, since we are pioneering in the gaming industry, there's not that much of a habit of watching games or esports for the Latin American players. It's not as common as it is for other regions. I have very high hopes for the Latino player, at least through the, through the experience they get from, from Riot. My dream is that the Latino player feels part and is a protagonist inside this global gaming scene, finally recognized out of the shadows, being present and on the spotlight in all that Riot stands for. We as LATAM have a young and vibrant community of players that we must hyper serve and show them the Riot experience.